The first thing to know is that the Child Maintenance Service, or CMS, is a UK government department that manages child support payments, so most child support claims are kept out of the court system. It is not compulsory to use the Child Maintenance Service. Parents are free to decide their own arrangements, but if a case is opened with the CMS, private arrangements are effectively cancelled and the CMS takes over issuing a payment schedule that is legally enforceable. This means that the paying parent must stop making private payments, as they may not count as CMS payments. It's important to realise that the first payment due date could be up to two months after the case is opened, although most payments are paid quicker than that. This means that the receiving parent may not receive any maintenance between the case being opened and the first payment being due. Any arrears accumulated in that period will be covered by the payment schedule and will therefore be subject to payment at a future date. Arrears are not due as a lump sum, but are spread over future payments. The paying parent should not need to make a payment outside of the scheduled payments. How are child support payments calculated by the Child Maintenance Service? The Child Maintenance Service, or CMS, uses a straightforward formula to determine payments. First, it looks at the paying parent's gross weekly income and divides it into bands. For instance, if the income is between £200 and £800, they pay a basic rate. Next, percentages apply based on the number of children. For one child, it's 12% of the gross weekly income. For two children, it's 16% and for three or more, it's 19%. The number of nights the children stay with the paying parent also affects the amount, with reductions for shared care. Shared care means overnight stays at the paying parent's home. 52 nights per year is where shared care discounts kick in. For example, if a parent earns £600 weekly and has shared care for 104 nights a year, they'd pay around £68 per week. Additionally, the CMS considers any additional taxable income sources, such as bonuses or overtime pay, which can affect the payment calculations. The CMS also considers other children the paying parent might have. If the paying parent has other children, the amount they pay for child maintenance can be reduced by adjusting their income used in the calculation. For example, if the paying parent has one other child, their taxable income is reduced by 11%. If they have two other children, the amount is reduced by 14%. If they have three or more other children, the amount is reduced by 16%. If the paying parent is out of work and claiming universal credit, they will typically pay £1 per day in child maintenance. CMS expressed this as a £7 weekly figure. Pension contributions can also reduce the paying parent's income which in turn reduces the amount they pay in child maintenance. If using the CMS calculator, it's important to reduce the pension payments from the income figure in the calculator to receive a more accurate assessment. The CMS can enforce payments through various methods, including wage deductions and legal actions, ensuring that the child's needs are met. Don't forget, annual reviews and special expenses can adjust the figures. The paying parent can claim expenses such as mileage, but these payments are minimal and are granted by reducing the CMS payment. The receiving parent does not have to pay the money. It's important to stay informed about any changes in the law or guidelines, as these can impact the maintenance payments. For estimates of calculations, use the CMS calculator, consult the government website or follow the links in the description below. Consider subscribing to this channel to get the information you need to know about child support in the UK.
Understanding the CMS and how it works is essential. The CMS is designed to ensure that children receive the financial support they need, regardless of the parent's relationship status. The CMS does not get involved in child contact. In fact, if a paying parent complains that the contact is reduced, it is likely that the CMS will increase the amount paid. This is because reduced contact could change shared care, and this means that if it is reduced, child support payments may increase. So remember, the CMS are not interested in contact. That's a matter for the courts. So make an application to the court if contact arrangements need to be formalised. Remember also that the CMS calculation is based on a formula set in law. Changes to the calculation can only be made if they are permanent. This, for CMS purposes, means they last for at least 12 weeks. So, minor changes, such as one parent having the child more during the school holidays, rarely make a difference unless it leads to a change of shared care bands. The CMS is just one tool available to help parents meet their financial responsibilities and support their children's future. If the arrangement through the CMS does not work, the person that opened the case can request to close it. Remember, a case is not closed until confirmed by the CMS, and deviating from the payment plan may lead to enforcement at a later date. So close the case before you agree changes. Understanding that the CMS determines payments by formula and not by need is key. This means that a parent cannot ask for more because it's not enough. Likewise, they cannot ask for less money. Remember, the goal of the CMS is to ensure money goes from one parent to another, not to mediate disputes about contact. The CMS formula may work for some, but not others. As the system is based on income, the CMS do not specify what the maintenance can be used for. The receiving parent does not have to prove where the money is spent or provide receipts. Want to know more? Then check out the video on screen now. And if you have a quick question, leave it in the comments or subscribe to our Facebook group.